Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be playing Who Wants to Be a Murderer? It is a game that's based on a TV show where you test your morality. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome one and all to the Twisted Spectacle that is our game show. Today, my dear viewers, we have a most intriguing cast of characters lined up for your entertainment. But enough from me, let's dive right in and meet our first participant, shall we? And now from the bustle metropolis of Chicago, where truth is a commodity, uh, bought and sold, we welcome Sarah Thompson, a journalist, uh, diligently seeking the ultimate scoop. Good evening, viewers. Let's have some fun uh, and games, shall we? From the concrete jungle of New York City, where dreams come to die, we have the enigmat Richard Greystone, a man whose legal prowess is matched only by his moral flexibility. Great ends esteemed guests. It's a pleasure great. Uh, why do they sound like that, like robots? Next up, straight from unknown with the skill and determination of a true gamer, a wild card participant. Hello, everyone. Hey there. How did you know it? Uh, greeting, folks. Why not? Greeting, folks. It's time to bring the heat and win this thing. Yeah, that's me. And of course, I found a contestant needs no introduction. Hello from the Froggy Street, say Illinois. I'm, Illinois, London. I don't know why I say Illinois. <laughs> Where whispers of a cold echo through the wind. We have the indis, inscrutable Edgar Darkwood, a man who da 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 greetings more or less embraced the unknown together. And there you have it, dear viewers, our motley crew of contestants, each with their own dark desires and ambitions. Ready to do battle on the turn, so sit back, relax, and prepare yourselves for a journey into the heart of madness. Let the games begin. Alright. One of the first phases of the show. This is where we separate the wheat from the chaff. Uh, the knowledge seekers. Oh my god, in this round, you gray, your gray matter will be the test, and every greatness will slowly covered by a hint of 10,000. Now, without further ado, let's delve into the depths of unknown, shall we? Let's hear it. Questions up. Who's the infamous silicon known as Dr Jack the Ripper? I don't think it's unknown. And the answer is correct. Come on, baby. That remains one of the most notorious unidentified serial killers to the streets of London in the late 19th century. Come on, man. Then the mysterious phenomenon which groups of people exhibit collective historical behavior often lead to outbreaks or irrational behavior of violence. I don't know what that is. The answers are A. Set violence stance. Mass hysteria. It's mass hysteria. I guess mass hysteria. And the answer is correct. I would have got that right too. The thing more contagious left is fear. Remember, folks, keep calm and carry on. Unless around here losing their minds. Sarah, here's your moment. What substance was famously used in ancient times to preserve bo bodies for eternity? Um, formaldehyde, natron, honey, or tar? Honey, maybe? <laughs> Answer is correct. Oh, I would have got that wrong. They just used natron, natural gas, natural salt mixture to preserve bodies during the mummification process. All right, Edgar, here's the question. <laughs> We're here to find animals have been known to engage in cannibalism. The answers are dolphins, hamsters, chimpanzees, and koalas. It's chimpanzees. Hamsters' answer is correct. What the freak? Uh, that concludes our first round of my being question, folks. And with that, we'll be taking a uh, short break for a but don't wander off my lovelies. When we turn, it's time for a bloody exciting game coming up next. And remember, there's no cutting corners here. Because of the minigame with a knife, of course. Okay. My dick is just right off the air now, but fear not, if you need anything at all, you know where to find me. Just don't keep me waiting too long. Can I move? No? Okay. Well, let's see what everybody... But this knife game coming out, who knows what'll happen. I heard Sarah's not handling it too well. Maybe, maybe she wonder if she'll make it through one piece. Sorry, are you ready to continue? Hold on. I want to talk to everybody, see what they say. Ready for the knife game, just remember to take it slow and steady. No need to rush into anything risky. I don't know if I can do this. I'm scared. What if I mess up? What if I get hurt? Uh, you're stronger than you think. You're stronger than you think, sir. The game might be tough, but we'll, th but we'll through it together. Okay? You really think so? Okay, let's do this. All right. Yeah, I'm ready. Excellent. Let's dive back in, ladies and gentlemen. We're back on air. Before we back, dive back in, here's a quick shopping tip. Snowy wish an intense bo boss battle to the last snowball against some snow claws you enjoy absolutely free. Now it's time for our first mini game of the evening, where the contestant's courage will be put to the test. Let's see if they have what it takes to handle a little knife play. Here the rules: contestants will have 36 square as many points as possible. They must touch the table with the tip of the knife, avoiding any mishaps with their hands. And then the, the time of the contestants with the longest score will be the first to face elimination. Yikes! Let the games begin. Oh, how am I supposed to play that? Ooh. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god, I'm cutting my fingers off. Oh. Please tell me I beat. I lost. 
And now it's time for more of the first elimination. We're so we'll be bidding be us a do tonight is none other than. Ah, uh, nah, that don't count, man. All right, see, now we got to run it back. We ain't got to run through everybody talking, though. So, obviously, we can just run it through. All right. Uh, uh, let's see. It's the same people? Yeah. Let's see. Hopefully, I'm going to give me a wild question off the rip. All right, you gon' We gonna play or what? Well, the first phase of the show. All right. Uh, here's a question. What tour is cult leader orchestrated? Uh, include actress. Isn't that Charles Manson? All right, bet we got it. What's his? Who was in the tour's figure situation with the legend of Dracula? Uh, Vlad the Impala. No. Lighting apart, I was known as, uh, I see. Ain't he supposed to be getting knocked out? We're just gonna let him slide. Oh, it's a devil's island. I don't even know. Okay, Alcatraz, that makes sense. I would've guessed that. Um, Edgar. Surgery with Deadly Nightshade. Uh, it can't be C or D. The Devil Snare also knows Belladonna and Sergius Victims. Okay, that includes the first round of my. Okay, so, and with that, we'll be taking a short break for a sponsor, but don't worry off my lovelies. Turn it, it uh, yeah, okay. I'm just here. Look, so, okay. Alright, we know what they got to say. Yeah, I'm ready already. We ain't getting knocked out the first round this time. I gotta at least be like 19 or whatever I had last time. Alright. Man, these little baby fingers, bruh. You can't spread your fingers a little wider, homie. What I get? Okay, I got 25. I had to beat everybody on that one. All right. So who getting knocked out there? And now it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for first elimination for so who be Sarah. Oh. A bus all revving up. Uh, things just got serious. Now the game truly begins. Here we are. Let's continue with the show. We're diving straight into our second round of questions. But it contains moral fiber will be put under the microscope for all to see. Every answer in this room, round will earn you 10000 So feel free to speak your mind without any inhibitions. Let's see who will rise to the occasion. Okay, get ready for some thought-provoking questions, folks. Uh, uh, you're offered immortality, but instant lives must be sacrificed. What's your answer? Uh... Your offer image of an lives must be sacrificed. Rationalize that. Oh, interesting. Retarded the ultimate prize with just a dash of bloodshed? Question, you receive a letter containing disturbing photographs of yourself taken without your knowledge. How do you respond? The answers are investigate and take legal action, notify authorities to seek protection, use it for promotional material, dismiss it as an amateur blackmail. Master is using them for promotional material. Oh, interesting. Which is what the thousand words were in case a thousand nightmares. Uh, Edgar, here's the question. Ultimate power is yours, but you lose your humanity. What's your decision? The answers are willingly sacrifice humanity, reject power, value humanity, accept with conditions, embrace darkness for power. Embrace darkness for power. Oh, interesting. Power without humanity, a tantalizing offer for the bold and heartless. All right, folks, that wraps the second round question. In my mind, Peel back some layers. Now we've got a glimpse of the real deal, the raw essence of each contestant. They've sized each other up, and believe me, they're sharpening their claws for what's to come. The voting phase is up next. Stay tuned. After this short break, we'll reveal the two finals of this twisted little game. For you out there watching, don't forget to call or toll free. Okay. There's always a new fresh faces voting, and well, well, things about to get interesting. Oh, there. If you need me, you can wait too long. Right, let's see what I got to say. Watch your back, mate. Trust is a rare commodity in these parts, okay? So it comes down to this, huh? Tell me, should I trust you over the other contestant? Yes, duh. Edgar, the champ, he's trouble for me and for you. It'd be risky for you to face off with him in the finale, wouldn't it? I would vote him out and clear the path for us. Yikes. I don't know. 
I feel like that's. I feel like he's he's setting it up. I don't want to play dirty. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's dive back in. Quick shopping advice. Okay, it's time to the next phase of the voting round. Here's how these players will cast a vote on who they believe should be eliminated. Most votes will be out of the game, not avoid any pleasant daylight situation where everyone gets a vote. In that case, opportunities must will would be eliminated and there will be no winner. So think carefully and cool who you believe others might vote for. Ah, dang. Well, I'm the only person winning right now, so it's like they're gonna vote me out. I'm going for Edgar. Okay. All right, we have a winner. Should I say eliminate contestant Edgar? You're out of the game. You're closer to the grand finale of this show. That means the questions are getting a bit more serious. Each great answer is worth twenty-five thousand. But let's chat. Let's dive right into the last round of questions. Here we go. H Painter, to question time. How long can a person survive without food, water, under normal conditions? It's only one to two days. No. Ah, I thought you couldn't live. You can live with water. I thought it was 48 hours. Come on, bro. He misses, bro. Oh. I do feel a thrills and spills a real bloodbath. Uh, catch your breath. Hope you're all handy with a rifle. Here we are, no more games of tricks from now on. It's just me and you live. But I'm sorry, I'll be the one walking away victorious. Yeah, right. All right, let's get it. I can hear the last shopping tip. I mean, who's full plan for permities, right? You've grasped the essence and purpose of the spectacle. Just our kids with knowledge, courage and knife mini game, question and voting. Says whether you know the myth and you may hear callers to table to be true murderers. There's just one final step to truly deny yourselves as such. Action. And so in the last phase, you'll be armed with a rifle in 36 time. Whoever manages to take out the most people from the audience. Holy. Festivities begin. Holy. Killing people is crazy, I'm not gonna lie. I'm smoking all my shots right now. I didn't know I was gonna be playing a mini game of uh Am I clearing them all out though? Oh I got lucky. I got twenty six. Oh I won! Down as the winner of tonight's thrilling episode, but before we do, let's give a round of applause to our brave contestants for their own valorant efforts. Now, without further ado, our champion, or should I say our murderer, is none other than, no, please don't do this, I'll do anything, I'll be. Well, this victory isn't just about the prize, it's about the journey and thrill of the hunt, the adrenaline rush of the kill. And let's not forget this sweet and tight scene sent blood in the air. So, without further ado, let's crown our murderer and bid farewell to another exhilarating episode of. Hey, where am I at? Hey, he got 39. They all got 39 kills. I only got 26. That's kind of crazy. Well, that's the end. I ended up winning it. That's all I want to do is get the dub and I guess be the murderer. So, uh, it was a short, sweet little game. It was pretty cool. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. If you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.